Reuter Glacier. Did you know that where the Reuter Glacier stands today used to be a vast pasture where lots of cows and sheep grazed all through the summer? Sheltered by the highest mountain, there was a hut where shepherds produced cheese. The master was a large tall man, cruel and mean, who mistreated everybody. One day, a poor beggar, starving and badly dressed, who by chance ended up there, asked the master for a bowl of milk to dip his stale bread in. The man, who was carrying a bucket of milk, full to the very brim, chased him away, saying, I'd rather throw this milk away than give it to you. And saying so, he spitefully poured the content of the bucket onto the grass. Such wickedness scared the beggar. Only the dog went up and licked his hand as a show of affection. The beggar stroked the dog, then, pointing at the postures, said, Shortly these postures will become completely white. And sadly, he walked away down the slope. But after a few steps, he turned round and added, Look, black clouds are already approaching. And indeed, huge dark clouds began darkening the sky. Everybody, men and animals, felt that something terrible was about to happen. The swallows pushed their chicks out of the nest, gathered in flocks, and flew away towards the valley. The marmots stopped what they were doing. With prolonged whistles, they warned their little ones to rush back into their burrows. The wolves came out of their hiding places and, in single file, headed towards the paths along the ridge. They crossed the pass and reached the forests on the other side of the mountain. The eagles flew higher and higher, well over the mountain peaks, and disappeared over the clouds. Then, although it was summer, it started snowing and went on snowing for several days and several nights. The whole pasture land was covered by an immense blanket of snow that never ever melted again. This is how the Reuter Glacier, which we still admire today, was formed. But who could that poor beggar have been? Comenius Reggio 2011-2013, porté par la région autonome de la Vallée d'Ost, Italie, et la mairie du Vigan, France. Projet des contes dans nos langues, du bilinguisme au plurilinguisme.